And welcome back uh, to Morning Live and between uh, Studio 11 here at Auckland Park and uh, The Rock at the IEC in Pretoria, we've got you covered along with our team of reporters. I don't think anybody's got a break or leave or anything. Everybody is out. We're making sure that we cover the length and breadth of this country, telling you what's happening on Election Day. Just a note of a question that has come through regarding uh, correctional services, perhaps not. SAPS uh, more to the point. And the question is, what happened? happens if you were arrested last night for example you went out today's a public holiday and maybe you got a bit sloshed and you got arrested can you cast a vote today well i tell you what i'm on it i'm going to try and find an answer for you from saps whether you'll be allowed to cast a ballot today or not with that let's cross back to leanne at the rock Thanks very much, Sakina. Yeah, there's news stories coming in uh, far and wide here at uh, the election centre. I can see one of the stories that's come through is that some voters in Alexandra are not very happy at the moment. Some of the voting stations opened very late if they, in fact, have opened at all as yet. So some of the voters already saying that uh, they're very upset with the way things are going. And remember that Alexandra is one of the hotspots that we have been watching in the run-up to these elections in Gauteng. So... We'll just wait and see how things go there. But uh, one of the IEC staff members uh, is uh, talking to the, uh, the, the, the voters at Alexandra saying that they would be opening any minute from now. So we'll wait and see what goes on. And uh, hopefully... This is not a story that is uh, around the country. A lot of uh, the uh, uh, voting stations are open, and one of those is in Stutterheim in the Eastern Cape. And we've got our reporter who is stationed there, Iviwe Party. Iviwe, good morning to you. How are things going? A very good morning to you too, Leanne, and the viewers. Um, a bit nippy in terms of it being cold out here in Stutterheim this morning, but as you can see behind me, uh, there's quite a large number of people that have come out to this specific voting station uh, where we are at. I do know our colleague, Lubabalo Tata, is in one of uh, the rural areas, not too far out from where we are, um, and he has said not a lot of people are, have come out there. But we're going to speak now to a gentleman um, whom has placed his vote. Uh, and well, there we have it, Leanne, a community member saying that um, he's very happy to have been able to place his vote today. However, you know, giving a call out to all Stutterim, specifically the youth, saying that now that they've been able to vote um, and say their say and, um, you know, give in terms of which direction they want to go in terms of leadership, that in terms of those protests that have been happening in this area from the end of 2018 up until now, that those, you know, do kind of uh, settle down and they wait for a new leadership to come in and show leadership in this area. Iviwe, thanks very much for keeping us updated there. Stutterheim in the Eastern Cape is where Iviwe is broadcasting from. Let's now.